đây là sở cảnh sát của thành phố Westminster. Vì sự việc xảy ra trong khu vực thành phố Westminster do đó bà Bùi Kim Thành sẽ tới để báo với cảnh sát của thành phố Westminster. Hiện nay chúng tôi thấy là bà Bùi Kim Thành đang ngay trước cái khu vực để báo cáo với cảnh sát kế bên là có ông Trần Nhật Phong à, có lẽ trong vai trò thông dịch cho bà Bùi Kim Thành và kế bên cũng có ông Peter Cass là một người à, à, cư dân ở thành phố Garden Grove à, không hiểu vì sao ông có mặt ngày hôm nay hôm nay chúng tôi sẽ tìm hiểu à, lý do ông có mặt ngày hôm nay à, sau khi bà Bùi Kim Thành báo cáo xong với cảnh sát Tôi Bùi Kim Thành đó, tôi đi thì làm Cộng sản Công Bố mà bây giờ tôi bọn Cộng sản Công Bố nó tấn công tôi và đánh đập tôi cách rất là giả mà và ngày chủ nhật và ngày trưa phố phước lập thọ và thưa tôi không phải mà đồng bào gọi và hiện nay và thưa có ra và sau sau khi tôi ra và nó tiếp tục và đánh vào cái như tôi rất luôn và sau đó nhờ quý đồng bào đó với lại quý báo về của ly nè người ta chụp hình và người ta giúp đỡ tôi tôi bảo là hôm nay tôi mới đỡ thì tôi muốn tới báo với lại cảnh sát trưởng cũng như là cảnh sát tại đây biết cái tội ác của mà bọn cộng sản mà công bố nó 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 chịu giúp tôi đó dạ thưa, dạ thưa không lúc đó tôi, tôi không tôi bị đánh quá đi thì tôi không biết thì tôi được nghe nói là cảnh sát tới đó là không được đụng đến tôi không được đánh tôi thì cảnh sát đi về Để khi cảnh sát đi về thì họ bắt đầu họ, họ đánh giả mang luôn họ bao lại họ đánh một cách tôi với tôi dạ vâng nhưng mà nhưng mà không hiểu tại sao họ mà họ lừa cái cái những cái bọn cộng sản khủng bố này nó hay lừa đảo cảnh sát mỹ lắm dạ thưa có chưa And then she had a. She, she has a video of this. Uh, but I made a video of their attack. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. đầu tiên khi cảnh sát tiếp có lẽ là phải cần cái cái thẻ của bà Bùi Kim Thành để biết bà là ai. When we are waiting for the uh, police to uh, check her ID, uh, Peter Kass, uh, can you tell us uh, why you uh, uh, present today? Because I viewed the video and it's clearly that she was assaulted, physically assaulted uh, by uh, two people. She was just exercising her, her right as an American to free speech and they obviously didn't agree with her, but they didn't have the right to physically assault her and knock her to the ground. And uh, that's not what I call American. Um, that's not what we do in this country. And she has a right to file a police report and have a judge determine uh, that she has a right to protest, you know, and, and give her points of view without being physically assaulted. Uh, we don't do that in this country. So, so you are coming here as like a, uh, a supporter or like uh, the... Uh 
I'm witness. coming here to to uh, act as a liaison for her and give her moral support. And I know it's intimidating to come to a police uh, uh, station, and I don't want her to feel alone. I mean, uh, I'm an American, and these are all of our rights. When something like this happens in this country, it affects all of us, and it is, it's an assault on all of us. And uh, that's not what uh, soldiers like myself fought for. That's not what this country is all about. This country represents people that come from all over the world, all kinds of views, all kinds of political parties, religions and backgrounds, uh, and social and economic status, and they have a right to their opinion. Just like these protesters that occupy Wall Street, they have the same right to make their demonstrations, but the people have the right to, to uh, sit in the park as well. So uh, these are the people's rights. Uh, the incident happened in uh, Westminster City, and as I know, you were, you are a resident and business owner in Garden Grove. Is there anything that you related between the two cities? I just think it's a common problem that uh, you have newspapers in, in the cities that have a right to a free press. And uh, when politicians and uh, businessmen use uh, boycotts and, uh, prote and protests as a means of intimidating advertisers and uh, uh, distributors from selling a newspaper or from buying ads in a newspaper or for people having the right to read a newspaper, uh, I think that's an, also an affront to the Americans' uh, First Amendment. We have a right to free speech, but we also have a right to a free press and free commerce. And uh, the Viet Weekly is a newspaper that operates in the city of Garden Grove in the same building as the Garden Grove Journal. They have a right to publish a newspaper. If you don't like what they write, don't read it. They didn't violate any American law, and they have a right to uh, practice their business and their advertisers should not be intimidated and threatened from advertising uh, in an attempt to shut down the newspaper and silence it. And politicians that stand up uh, for uh, that type of uh, uh, incident in America should not be elected to office. And the only thing I can say to the, to the Vietnamese American out there, when you go to the ballot box and you're voting for a Vietnamese candidate, make sure he's standing up for everyone's rights, not just one side. Some people watching the uh, other interview we had with you, and there were some opinions saying that you was not know enough about the complication of Vietnamese uh, situation. They suggest you to either stop uh, saying what you're saying or study more of the complication of the problem before you get uh, any further comments. What do you think about that? There are no complications. Either you're an American and you believe in the U.S. Constitution and stand up for its rights, or you're not. And if you're not an American, what are you? Uh, and where do you come from? And where are your allegiance? You, as an American, have a right to stand up for freedom. Freedom is not free, and the U.S. Constitution protects us all. And if you don't abide by the U.S. Constitution, uh, my question is, where's your patriotism? Another question uh, regarding you is how of the six or seven uh, organizations signed the uh, uh, announcement. Uh, we we get back. I'll get back to you. Sorry for the interruption. Uh, another question regarding your statements uh, lately was out of the six or seven organizations signed the announcement regarding protesting uh, week weekly last uh, several weeks. They said uh, out of that uh, six or seven organizations, why you pick only the UVSA to uh, question about their financial status? Is that something personal that you have with the organization? No, because they are a nonprofit organization and their books are open to the public and they represent students. In this country, we educate students on the true history of this country and its uh, constitution. And when organizations uh, organize protests to, tr to try to shut down a free press, that's not good for American uh, students. They don't learn American history that way. American history is taught by the U.S. Constitution. And if you're trying to suppress the Constitution to put out your political point of view, you have no business running a student organization. And you look at universities today where uh, Penn State, where, where uh, coaches are molesting uh, uh, children in the guise of, of, of playing football. Well, what are you as an educator? Are you not molesting people's constitutional rights by not teaching students the value of a free press? Come on, give me a break. You have no business being on a school board. You have no business being ahead of a student organization if you suppress freedom of the press, freedom of the speech, and free commerce.
a few UVSA alumni questioning about your statement. So if in the future they want to confront you to uh, talk about this issue regarding your statement about UVSA, uh, are you available to uh, confront with those alumni? I will debate any student anywhere or any organization anywhere on the constitutional values of American life and its constitution. And I have nothing against the students of the U.S. They do uh, wonderful things. They raise a lot of uh, money that goes to a lot of charitable causes, but they can do more. I mean, as a student and as an American, we all can do more. We need to reach back and, and take the high road, not the low road. And, and, and spending money protesting a, a free newspaper, a free speech is a waste of money. That's not educating students. That's suppressing the Constitution of the United States. And I'd be glad to debate anyone, anywhere, anytime. Thank you very much for your willingness. And we will try to uh, see if that uh, debate will happen in the near future. Thank you very much. You're welcome. And I have no animosity towards any organization to, uh, to defend their values. But uh, their values, when they step on my values, I have to defend mine. So I'm open to any kind of debate with no animosity intended. Mm -hmm.